right, neighbors, it's Nicole Fetter, your local Arizona realtor. It's tax time again. Last week we spoke about how you can use your tax refund to purchase a house. This week we're going to talk about some of the tax benefits of buying a house. Number one, this is the most common and the biggest one, most of you are probably aware of it, tax-free profits. If you are married and filing jointly, you can get up to $500,000 tax-free profit. If you are single or married and filing separately, up to $250,000 tax-free profit. I know this alone is enough reason to make me purchase a house, but let's go ahead and talk about some of the other benefits of purchasing a house. Number two, mortgage interest tax deduction. You can write off the interest paid on your mortgage as well as an equity line or a home equity line of credit up to $750,000 if you are married filing jointly or if you are single. Now if you are married filing separately you can write off up to $375,000. If you happen to purchase your home before December of 2017 you are grandfathered into the old tax deductions which is up to a million dollars if you are married filing jointly or single and it's up to $500,000 if you are married filing separately. Number three is state and local deductions. You are allowed to write off your property taxes up to $10,000 if you are married filing jointly or single. Up to $5,000 if you're married filing separately. Number four, residential energy efficient property credit. Now, this credit is pretty much what it sounds like. It's a tax credit for making certain energy efficient improvements on a home. One example would be solar. This credit runs through December 2021 and you usually get between 22 and 30 percent of what it costs to make the energy efficient improvements. Number five, mortgage point tax deduction. If when you purchase your home you paid points, you can write them off. Now, it's usually only up to 1% and I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but every little bit helps. Number six, this one's for you business owners, home office deduction. If you own your own business and use part of your home as a home office, you can write off a percentage of your home or you can write off $5 per square foot up to 300 square feet. Number seven, PMI or mortgage insurance. If you put less than 20% as a down payment down, when you purchase your home, the lender is gonna require that you have primary mortgage insurance or mortgage insurance. You can write that off on your taxes. Now, I know we went over quite a bit here, so if you have any questions, as always, call, text, email, or direct message me. I'm always here to help with your home, buying and selling needs. Please remember to like and share this video with your friends and family. Help continue to educate them on the home, buying and selling process. And remember, go better with better. She'll love her forever. She'll get you a home today.